speaking of rats, man, Brian Seltzer, the the epitome of manliness in in America, has his own opinions about about the whole Twitter thing, dude. This whole Twitter situation has been fun. It's been fun, dude. It's been fun to look to look from afar and shit and and see all these people who you know are tripping out because of I don't I still don't know why they're so mad that okay Musk bought it and said hey man say whatever the hell you want Brian Stelter there he is that oddly shaped fella that oddly shaped um creature even this dude can't stand sitting next to him. Brian Stelter looks like he smells, dude. He does. He does. I, I'm not I'm not Mr. Moral High Ground and shit. I'm not here to provide a serious newscast or anything. I'm just telling you, if a motherfucker looks like he smells, he looks like he smells. Where well, Mr. Stelter came out with a dumbest analogy regarding Twitter. Being bought by Elon Musk. Let's see what let's see what he says. Look, who knows? I, I think that's a, a that's a that's a, an example of. A I tell I, I do what I tell you. These losers stutter a lot. I know. I know. Broader question for Twitter, which is, if you, uh, if you get invited to something where there are no rules, where there is total freedom uh, for for everybody, do you actually want to go to that party? Hell yeah, bro. I'm there. What well, dude, those are the best parties. What the hell, dude? Do you actually want to go to that party? Goddamn, dude. I'm like, he got the most punchable face ever. So he's, he has that condescending ass face, man. Or are you going to decide to stay home? And that's a question for Twitter users. Some Twitter users might love the idea. That there's going to be absolutely no moderation and no rules at all. Others might not want to be anywhere near that. Am I am I crazy, Matt? No, no, you're right. And what what happened? No, look at his stupid face. Look at what the hell is that thing, man? But like, let's 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 mull over the dumb shit he's talking about. Let's say you get invited to a party. I mean, dude, the type of parties if if you go to a party and they start dropping out rules, you're out, man. You dip. This is exactly the dude. Brian Stelter has never been invited to a party because what the hell kind of party sets out rules? Dude, I've been to put dude, I've been to parties without rules since I was a kid, man. I remember dude, I remember little kid. I remember we were like 10. I think I, I was 10 and I went to this party, right? And they had the jumping balloon. And as such, you do all, like, yeah, they set rules in jumping balloons, which is also another thing to Mr. Stelter. It's like, even if there's rules, dude, no one's going to keep them. So this kid, dude, we was in the jumping balloon. Motherfucker falls, snaps his arm. He freaking hops back in the jumping balloon and freaking hops back and falls again and snaps his arm back in place. That's that's how you freaking that's what a party is, dude. Spoken like somebody that's never been invited to a party, man, for reals. And yeah, yeah, people do not want moderation in the freaking social medias. Look at him, dude. He looks like the he looks like the asshole principal in every freaking teenage comedy show. Like he he looks like the freaking he looks like the guy who would play the principal in every goddamn Nickelodeon show, but then gets busted for like I don't know having inappropriate kid pictures in real life or some shit. I'm pretty sure this motherfucker got something going on. And by the way, dude, the hair's gone, man. Let it go, bro. This look does nothing. He look, dude. He looks like the sh these two. Look like the shadiest car salesman ever, man. He's like this asshole. This asshole looks like the guy that gets you and he's all like, let me talk to the manager. And this other asshole is the manager. And then this asshole makes you like sign in all the paperwork. And then you go with this other asshole and you talk about the financing and whatnot. 
Brian Seltzer has never been to a party, dude. And he never will. Not with that attitude. Who the hell's going to invite him? Dude, you could tell these none of these motherfuckers like him in real life. None of them do, dude. They look like they have to deal with him because they, you know, they work together. Where all, where's the shot with all these freaking numb, numb skills? Here they are. They got this like, what the fuck? What, what the hell are you talking about? Oh, uh, if you, you, you know, if you're invited to a party and, 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 and there's no rules. Do you really want to go to the party or stay home? Dude, I'm going to the damn party. I've got, dude, I've shown up. The only party without rules that I didn't go to was one time, man. One time. One time me and my homie and, and we went and picked up this other girl, right? And she says, hey, let's go to the to the party in, in the freaking outskirts of town. And we show up, right? And this girl is gorgeous, man. And we show up. This party is in the outskirts of town. And there's really nothing. It's this huge, beautiful house. Granted, dude, I'm in the border, man. And this is beautiful house in the middle of the desert. And we see all these freaking Denali's, you know, roll in Range Rovers, SUVs, dude. SUVs rolling into this house. And that's where I get suspicious. I'm like, gas prices and ain't that, ain't, you know, uh, why would you want to be riding trucks and SUVs? Well, it turns out all these motherfuckers were getting down of their cars with these gorgeous women. And these motherfuckers had, were rocking that freaking Mexican cowboy hat and those loud ass shirts that, you know, not buttoned at all. Freaking hamburger meat sticking out and jewelry up the ass. Looking like El Chapo. I'm like, I'm out, man. That was the old dude. That's the only party without rules that I didn't want to go to. Because I knew I was going to break a rule in there. And there we go. Brian Stelter has never been invited to a party. Brian Stelter has never seen a booby in his life. Brian Stelter looks like a freaking booby. A hairy booby, man. That's what Brian Stelter looks like.